This is Jonathan Power from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is the third ranked squash player in the world. And here's the DLJ Direct, Tournament of Champions in New York City. He has been doing very well to get to the finals. This is a semi-final win over the world's number one ranked player, Peter Nickel from Scotland. He did so easily, 15-10, 15-4, 15-5. I felt pretty good today, you know, I was fired up. I wanted to give a good showing in New York City, you know. So I went out there, pumped up, and I gave him a, gave him a good dose of my squash today, so it was nice. His opponent in the finals will be Ahmed Borana, the second seed and number two ranked player in the world from Egypt. He took care of Paul Johnson from England, but it took five games in the best out of five match. Much closer, a tough battle, but still into the finals. It's been great to me uh, because it's my first time to play here and I reached the final of the US Open, one of the biggest tournaments in the world. So I'm really happy about it. It sets the scene in a most unusual and intriguing venue for our championship, the Grand Central Terminal. It's out of the DLJ Direct Tournament Championship in Midtown Manhattan. Now let's check in with our Angus Kirkland and the coaches. Well, Shari, a big game for Ahmed tonight. What strategies have you discussed with him this afternoon in preparation for this match? You know, Burada, he's been training very hard for the last couple of months. Uh, he's uh, fit enough for tonight. Uh, you know, I'm asking him, I asked him to be cool, uh, to concentrate on his shots. Uh, I think it's going to be a good match, big match tonight. Absolutely. Let's go over to the other side of the court with Jamie Little. He's talking to Jonathan Powers coach, Mike White. Mike, every time Jonathan and Ackman have been matched up, he's beat him. What are you going to tell him tonight? Well, just to stay focused on his normal game plan, um, to come out, pump early and uh, take the ball early, get in behind him. Uh, normal stuff, really, and let Jonathan settle quickly uh, into his game. He knows what to do. Um, I just don't want him trying to finish the rally too early right from the get-go. Thanks, Jamie and Mike. So, Angus, we talked about Jonathan Power, who's played so well this week at the tournament, he has not lost one game heading into the finals. Yeah, he's on tremendous form, and yesterday's semi-final was perhaps the best I've ever seen him play. Third ranked in the world, actually born in British Columbia, now calls Toronto, Ontario, Canada home, and he has rolled all the way through without any trouble. Did you foresee him having difficulties in the tournament? Certainly in the semi-finals, his match with Peter Nickel was uh, one that everyone was looking forward to, and he really just took Peter apart. He talks about his strategy for today's match. We both like to sort of dominate the middle of the court, and if you're in the middle of the court, then uh, you're not doing as much running as the other guy, and that's the key. You want to sort of be very efficient with your movement, and you don't want to waste any energy because it's going to be a tough game, a lot of physical quick moving, because there's going to be a lot of shots out there. So his opponent today, ranked number two in the world, 21 years old, an up-and-comer who has been on the tour for several years, but really getting into his own Ahmed Barada. He certainly is. He's been on tremendous form this tournament, coming through a tough first round over Anthony Hill. 3-2, and then last night overcoming Paul Johnson of England, 3-2. And that was a difficult match to win, but he does take it 3-2. Now, we asked Jonathan Power from Canada exactly what it's like to face Ahmed Barada because of the celebrity status Barada has in Egypt. Yeah, well, he, he's the sort of national hero over in Egypt. Everybody in the country knows who he is. He's a big sort of sports celebrity. Squash is pretty big over there. But on the other hand, I'm enormously huge on the southeastern part of the tip of Java. They really like me over there. So, uh, you know, I've got that sort of fan base. As you can tell, Jonathan Power Angus, a bit of a character as we look at the rules for our championship. Best of five games, and the games are 50. He certainly is a character, and uh, just looking into the rules, um, the referee is going to play a big part in this match, and the referee will call let's if he feels one player is impeding the other player from getting to the ball, a no let if he doesn't think the player will make the shot, and uh, a stroke to the player if he feels that the opponent is in the way in making a clean shot onto the front wall. We will hear the voice of our referee, Graham Waters, throughout the match very clearly. This is game one. This is where both players will be testing each other out, trying to look for weaknesses. The rallies will be more drawn out in this game, and we'll see both players start to attack as, uh, as the match progresses. Strong each the backhand drive from the back of the court can be. Wrist and forearm strength remarkable for these athletes at this level. Both players are looking to control the middle of the court, the T area, and dominate from there. Again, 
good driving by both players, not allowing either one to get the middle down. One of the longest rallies we'll see in this sort of match of this caliber. There's Ahmed going for the volley, looking to take the initiative. Jonathan putting him back on the defensive. Each player using a variety of strokes. Down. So drop shots, drives from the back of the court, and using the walls as well. The first game goes to power, 15-12. Now in a game two, the best out of five match. Ahmed hunting the ball across the tee area. Tremendous length and width by both players, looking for the attacking opportunity. Different shots coming to play. Great drop shot try on the backhand. Barana's ball was good. Powers protest went for naught, and Barana won the second game, 15-13. Now to game number three, which we pick up in its entirety. First point. Great tight volley and there up. by Jonathan Power. Taking the first one point. Left. Each player can score on his serve or returning. Great comeback there by Ahmed Prada. One Both all. players looking to get a good start in this important third game. Well, Feather a touch on the drop shot. He disguises it so well, something he does beautifully. Yeah, he comes Two with the early racket preparation as he goes in to play the ball. Makes it very hard to see. Rally and a good volley. Stroke Parada. Volley setting up the stroke there for Ahmed Parada. Couldn't play it without uh, hitting Jonathan Three with one. the ball or the racket. 3-1 in this third game. We're one game apiece. Down. That hits the tin, the line right below that front four board, one. and that is not a good shot. Down. Another on force error there by Jonathan. Ahmed um, getting away in this game. Five one. The power's been known to get some very impressive comebacks together, at least in this tournament. He has been brilliant. Down. Hand out. Tight, tight backhand drop shot by Jonathan here. Make, forcing Ahmed into a, 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 an error. Thank you. Down. Again, lovely touch on the overhead. High Three backhand five. volley. One of the toughest shots in the game. 3-5. So Barada, who lost that first game, 15-12, but rallied for the second. Looking impressive here in the third. Beautiful touch there by Ahmed. Backhand volley drop. And it's not easy to three. do, especially execute a shot like that so deep in the court. Exactly. Very, very tough. Yes, yeah, slap. The boast off the wall, off the sidewall first. Now some yes, protest. Yes, upheld, 6-3, right side. <laughs> and we'll see plenty of that today. A lot of arguing, or at least protesting, and appeals to the officials. Ahmed trying to demonstrate that Jonathan had gone the wrong way. Um, let ball was the decision. Hot up, hand out. Hand out, power gets the serve back when we come back, but he's down 4-6 in the third game, the best out of five championship from New York City here on ESPN2. More coming up. The 1999 Tournament of Champions is brought to you by DLJ Direct. Invest online at www.dljdirect.com. By New York Sports Clubs. By Cadillac. And by Foster's Lager, Australian for beer. We welcome you back to New York City Grand Central Station, Midtown Manhattan. They have Ryan Angus Kirkland with you from the DLJ Direct Tournament of Champions. Jonathan Power, 
five and six. Marana. Canada against Egypt here in our championship round. Five six, third game. Um. Jonathan's made an impressive comeback in this game, but a lucky bounce on the bat wall there gives Ahmed 7-5. Get there by Ahmed. And an excellent read. Jonathan, oh normally so deceptive, hit it straight back to him. Ahmed reading Jonathan better than anybody else. There's a backhand drive winner. Down. And quite often you'll see collisions right at the and center of the court eight. like that. It is 6-8. Sometimes it is played a let, played over again, according to referee's judgment. Yes, let. Jonathan looking for the stroke by putting yes, his Lamb racket behind Ahmed. Eight. But the referee not giving it. Let ball. Good decision. And that is entirely in the referee's judgment. We also have an appeals referee who would have the final say. Down. A little unforced error there by Jonathan. Ahmed taking know, a three point nine, cushion. Six, the momentum has changed, no question, here in the third game. 9-6. Down. 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 That's unlucky. That was the right shot. He had Jonathan going the wrong and way. 7-9. at the top of the 10. Backhand drop volley try. Down. You see a lot of the drop shots, Angus. Tremendous touch from these players, even off the... Wrong foot there. Eight, nine. Yeah, both players, tremendous racket skills. Given any time, they can hit a winner. That's great play there by Jonathan. Really working Ahmed down that backhand side, forcing an opening. Perfect length into the deep corner. Nine, oh. And now a rally from power to tie it at nine. And up. Again, Ahmed incredibly deceptive, flicking the ball across the front of the court. Hando, Jonathan Hando not Hando quite Hando making Hando. it. Down. He missed that it. That's good. Tried that forehand that drop. That ball, hand out. You won't see too many of those from Ahmed Brada. Very fast across the middle of the court. Drop shot, answer with a drop. And great get. Strong wrist flick back Down. inside from power. That was good. Ahmed not happy with one Play of those earlier pickups. Appealing to the referee for a let ball. Playing a lap. Unsure. Let, that ball's being granted. Both referees are a little unsure of exactly what happened. So they'll play the point uh, again. I wasn't sure at all. I couldn't, I couldn't tell whether it was up or not. It looked, it looked dodgy. Pills referee Mike Puertas explaining that he was unsure of right exactly side, what had happened. Off. So the fairest decision is to play the point again, Dave. And Angus, players tend to get emotional when they appeal. Well, particularly these two players, uh, they want to get their point across to the appeals referee right. that they are Power upset about off. the original decision. And uh, they both make it very clear with their animations. On the right, power ten all. Heated battle continues here in the third game for the Tournament of Champions. Nearly a thousand squash fans have packed into this busy and bustling venue, Grand Central Terminal, Midtown Manhattan, New York City, for Power and Barana championship round. Down. Barana displaying all his skill and here with a backhand drop shot in the back of the court. Low above the tin, winning the rally. Another no deceptive backhand cross court volley drop. Power calling out no the left. He wants the point plate over. 
Right side. Referee determined the right that he wouldn't have 12, got the ball. 10. Whether or not Ahmed was there, he wouldn't have reached it. Now who says squash is not a physical sport? We see a lot of collisions on the court today. Oh, that's tremendous play by Jonathan. Totally wrong footing Ahmed Brada with that forehand cross court. Hand out, 11-12. Crunch time here in game three. Playing to 15. Down. Great width there by Jonathan, sticking the ball right on the wall, forcing Ahmed into an error. 12 all. Down. Oh, that was a big point. Unforced error there by Ahmed, giving Jonathan the lead. Just tried to cut under a drop shot, the forehand return. Well short into the 10. the wrong foot Jonathan but Jonathan reading it taking him to game point 12 game ball so it is game ball down tried to boast that off the wall from the backside not an easy shot tremendous speed there by Ahmed 13 14 picking up the drop shot and driving ball. it back past Jonathan very powerful. Down. And that low onto the 10. 14 all, set so three. 14, 14 here in the third game. We've gone to set three. That means we'll play to 17 in this third game. Down. As determined by the receiver. As determined by Jonathan as he was receiving at 14 all. He chooses 14. 15 or 17. Set one or set three. Down. Jonathan taking the safer option of three and now has a two-point advantage. Three game points in this third 16, game. 16, 14, game ball. Trying to take the two games to one lead. Down. That's good play by Ahmed, just steadying up. Looking for the opening, forcing and Jonathan 15, into the front 16. and getting the reward. 15-16, still a game ball. Shot there. Stroke Parada. Ooh, Power does not like that call one bit. Stroke Parada. Well, you're right, Dave. Unfortunately, the slip by Jonathan meant that left he was right in side. Ahmed's way. No, There's only one call left there. Left it's a stroke right. every time. So game ball again for Barada. How going for the winner? Oh, great touch no there by Ahmed. No left. Some more controversy, but no let is the call from our referee. Barada certainly will not argue because he takes the third game and leads two games to one here from New York City. As usual outside Grand Central Terminal, very busy. It was the case inside as well. DLJ Direct, our title sponsor for the event, had a stand set up for demoing market speed software, their online investing. Plenty of chance to make sure investors and squash fans alike can check that out. And our presenting sponsor, the New York Sports Clubs, also had plenty of demonstration going on. But be sure to work up a good sweat with the 21st century modern day tools for exercise. Plenty going on here, Angus. A lot of fun in New York City. Uh, it's Fantastic to see new sponsors in the game and people getting involved, line. fans getting involved in what's going on oh. around the tournament. So on to game four. Barada to serve. Down. You can expect Jonathan's going to be coming out very Hello, fast here, love. fighting to stay in the match. One love. Is that the mental approach here, get off to a really quick start? Definitely, Dave. Both players looking to get an early lead and hold on to it. Ahmed to close Stroke out power. the match. Jonathan to stay in the match. Remember, head-to-head, Barada -head, has never beaten power. Lost all five matches. I think this is the closest one we've had so far. Three straight have been three know, games one, in a row, in fact, and they've been dominations from Jonathan Power of Canada. 
No lap. Again, great no play lap. by Ahmed. No the lap. backhand volley drive, too good for Jonathan. Too Referee calling no lap. Didn't think he would reach it. The two met back in December at the Doha Qatar World Championships. Won by power, ultimately. Yes, Jonathan was on superb form that week, winning the championships. Great touch into the front there. That will boast from Ahmed. Stroke oh, the hold from Jonathan. Wrong shot this time. Ahmed was reading it and was there and stroke to Ahmed. 3-2. Ball just catching the side wall and not giving Ahmed a clear view of the front wall. So the referee awards a stroke correctly. Three serving two in his fourth game. Down. Hand out. Good tight ball there by Jonathan. Three off. Forcing the error. Perfect return along the side wall. And no room to operate for Barada. Great wrong footing forehand volley. Takes him to 4 3. Hand out. 4 3. Exceptional wrist there by Jonathan, cutting the ball off early. Hand out. Down the line, then the volley. For all. And the winning drop shot. Disguising that drop shot into the last possible moment. So we're at four all in the fourth Down. game. Unforced error there by Ahmed. Has worked a couple of times, but not this time. Tremendous power on that backhand drive into Hand open out. space. That's seen the court so well, isn't it, Angus? You've got to almost have eyes in the back of your head. He's reading Jonathan unbelievably well, and that's why he's doing better today Hand than out. before. Another great re out, six, service five, return there by Jonathan, sticking it right on the side wall. There's a good variety between drop shots and the hard drives on service return. Really mix it up and keep your opponent off balance. There's a classic example, Jonathan holding, driving hard and low cross seven court five. for the winner. So deep in the court as well. That ball, 7-5. In that matchup of the world, power Down. lost just 10 points in the entire match. 8-5. This is a different game, but we're seeing the first signs of fatigue from Ahmed. A couple of unforced errors. Down. And there's another one giving Jonathan a four-point lead. Great pick Nine up there in the five. front backhand. Excellent length. That match was in the quarterfinals. And Power said afterwards the best he played at the World Championships all week. Best he played ever. Mm. Not up. Oh, there's the cross court nick. And ball hits the crack between the wall and the floor. Ball rolls straight. Dead winner. 9 6, fourth game. We resume action in the exciting Tournament of Champions. Championship match, squash, Grand Central Terminal, New York City. Dave Ryan, Angus Kirkland with you. Oh, that's a tremendous pick up there by Ahmed. No very lap. powerful, very quick into those front corners. No lap, upheld. Bring Seven himself nine. back into the game, 7-9. When it seemed as if he was about to drop out here in this fourth game. Down. That's almost becoming Jonathan's trademark, the forehand straight drive off the serve, Hando, very ten, tight, seven. wins him another point. The second time this game. Hello. Ahmed not reading Jonathan this time, going the wrong way, giving Jonathan another four Eleven point seven. lead. So a run of points here from Powell, and he's taking command. I'm oh not reaching that one, lifting 12, into the ceiling. 
Down. On four, Sarah gives Johnson 13-7. 13 13-7. 13 seven. He is rolling now in this game. That ball, 13-7. And it looks like Barad is giving up, but Angus, he's not. No, he's just preparing himself, I think, for a, a fifth game, the final confrontation. Just saving his legs. This game is uh, mostly out of reach at this point. And they're not even trying for that. That ball 14, really seven, setting his size on the fifth game now. There's a backhand drop shot from Jonathan. I would expect he would have got that in the first game, Dave. So he is conserving energy. And there 15, it is, seven, game, game to game power. 15-7. So we will have a fifth and deciding game from the DLJ Direct Tournament of Champions here at Grand Central Terminal in New York City. The coaches will have a chance to talk with their players. Mike Ware will be encouraging Jonathan now to get stuck in right from the beginning of this game and uh, to get ahead of Ahmed, try and finish him off. Now let's go to our Jamie Little with a very special guest here in New York City. Thanks, guys. I'm here with tournament director John Nimick. John, it's been a success so far. A lot of people stopping for the tournament. We're really very pleased. The, the numbers of people who come through this section of Grand Central Terminal over the course of our tournament week probably number about 150,000. And all of them see some form of the squash, or they see our signage, they see that we're here. And as a way to promote the sport of squash, it gives us tremendous visibility that most club-based tournaments or even portable court tournaments in fixed venues don't give us. Of all the places to hold a tournament, why Grand Central Station? Well, it's a great lead when you're selling sponsorship and you're talking about um, a kind of dynamic environment that your guests will enjoy. Um, people from out of town will come to New York because they know the tournament's in Grand Central and they want to see the renovated uh, interior. This $200 million that has been spent bringing this terminal back to life is just gorgeous. Jamie and John, thanks so much. Impressive surroundings here at the Tournament of Champions. An impressive fifth game, we hope, coming up. So here in Grand Central Terminal, we are getting ready for the fifth and final game. Power against Burana, Canada against Egypt. We have Ryan Angus Kirkland from the Pro Tour Power with you today. Ahmed oh, looking pretty fresh out of the blocks here different player from the end of the fourth game. We'll see how much gas he has in the tank. Lovely deception there by Jonathan Ahmed on it. Stroke Parada. Perfect camera angle Stroke coming right at you. There goes a drop. Lovely counter drop One there up. by Ahmed. Jonathan's in and Ahmed stops him from going anywhere and gets a stroke. Close point of game five. Tremendous backhand volley drop, winner by Ahmed. Taking the early lead. Two love. Both players looking pumped up for this fifth game. Angus, how about the mental approach to a fifth game? How difficult is that Shut to up. get ready for? Well, both players know it's the last game they're going to play, and this is a championship match game, so uh, they'll be Sorry. both fighting as hard as they can. Yeah, no thanks. thoughts about playing again tomorrow. The tournament is over. Barada needs an additional wristband. It is awfully out, one, hot two. here at the Grand Central Terminal court surface. All glass facility. Just a beautiful setup, though. That's right, Dave. As you can see here, you can't see out of the court, but you have clear view in for the spectators all around the court, including the front wall. No lap. Great touch there by Jonathan. Referee denying. No I made a left. Decision upheld Too by well. the appeals referee. Barada tried to get there for a counter drop shot. Couldn't find the space. Down. That's an unusual error there by Jonathan. Won't see too many of those. And out. Just off Three, the top two, of the Barada. chain on that backhand volley service return. So things still neck and neck in the fifth game. Down. Good serve by Ahmed. Another on force error though by Jonathan. 4-2. Tentative start here by Jonathan. It's the same tournament back in 96 where he won his first big international event. He is the defending champion. Again, a lovely hold on that front forehand side. Gives Jonathan point for 3-4. Excellent length. Hold. Flick it cross court. 
And out three, four. Long rally. Both players looking for the opening. None coming yet. There it is. Jonathan, powerful backhand cross court. Sends Ahmed the wrong way. Four, oh. Wins the point. Perfect positioning. And he set him up well, didn't he? There it is, yeah. Hides the ball with his body. Flicks it cross court. Very strong wrist, Jonathan. Again, both players trying to find the middle ground. Jonathan working. Ahmed. Down. We're just off the top of the 10 on the board. That short. Hand out. 5-4, Barada. Right idea. He's trying to move Ahmed up and down the court. He knows he's a little tired, but unfortunately making an error. Great touch there by Ahmed. Excellent rally by both players. Neither, wanting them, neither one wanting to give up. Jonathan pinning Ahmed back. Again, the boast by Ahmed, defensive. Jonathan really in control of this rally. Working Ahmed. A lot like that game one rally we saw. No left. And the referee did not For feel. Real, yes, Ahmed Barato, oh, changes his mind. First, didn't think he'd For get real, to the ball. Yes, well, the referee gave a no let. Didn't think Ahmed would have made it, right but the side, appeals referee right has Brada. overturned him. We'll have more from New York City and the DLJ Direct Tournament of Champions after this. Right side, please. 5-4, game five in our best out of five. Tournament of Champions from New York City. Yet again, Ahmed showing how well he's reading Jonathan today with that forehand volley. Sets him up for the winner. 6-4. Remember, Murata has never beaten power. In fact, never come close. This is new territory he's in. Down. A forced error there by Jonathan. Gives Ahmed a three-point cushion. 7-4. That could prove crucial, as Ahmed was completely the wrong way. And Jonathan forcing Ahmed back. Yes, lap. Yes, lap, upheld. Referee giving a let. From the, from the right, 7-4. Yeah, Ahmed was looking for the stroke, but uh, right. really that was only just a let, Dave. 7-4. Parada not too pleased with the referee's verdict. Down. Powerful cross-court drive, just catching the top of the 10. 5-7. That could be a big momentum switch. It's 5-7. Not up. Brada straight back, though, with a backhand volley winner. And Off out, 8-5. Oh, Great lob there by Arnold, getting himself back in the rally. Yes, lap. Wasn't sure where he was. 8-5. Both players agreeing that's a let for a change there, Dave. Haven't had a lot of agreement <laughs> between these two today, but no chance for a play from Barada from the back of the court. Down. Ball was down. Ahmed obviously not happy with that. The backhand dropped from the back. Jonathan claiming it caught the 10. Ahmed Playing saying no, the ball was good. Now the appeals referee saying play let. So neither player are very pleased the with the final verdict from our referee or appeals referee. Take another look. There it is, Eight very five, close. Barada from the right. Very close. The referee, the appeals referee said he was unsighted. So he's playing the ball again. The referee sits just behind the back of the court. Up. Sometimes the players do get in, in the way of the ball. Nine five.
Crucial points each one now, deep into this fifth game. Down. Unforced error there. So the and drama continues from New York. The coaches watch intently. We'll have more after this. Commuter is going through Grand Central Terminal while they're waiting for a train. Can check out some of the world's best squash players. That's what we have right now. A heated final match. The DLJ Direct Tournament of Champions. Down. Ahmed looking for the winner. Maybe a bit early in that rally. 7-9. Making the error. Okay. Ahmed looking for the early winners in the rally. Jonathan... Have Tremendous game. Okay. Ahmed not happy well, with it, good. but Top both power. referees agree the ball's up. Eight, Again, nine. very close as most of the calls have been. And each will start to contest them more and more as we get down to crunch time. It's good play by Ahmed. Tremendous play. High lob. Change of pace, good touch to the front, and the powerful cross-court drive to win the rally. 10-8. Now, Angus, as we get deeper into this fifth game, conditioning is going to become a big factor. It's something Jonathan Power has talked a lot about, his conditioning this year. He's really dedicated himself to it. He has, indeed. His fitness has gone up a, a great deal. And we saw Ahmed looking a little fatigued, possibly from the previous matches in the tournament in the fourth game. We'll see what he has left at the end of this game. Trying to, trying to make him work. Counter drop shot upon and counter there it drop is. shot. Boy, it's masterful. So close to the front wall. Wonderfully played. This was a good rally for Jonathan. Really pushing Ahmed deep. And then the drop shot into open space. So deep and in the back of the corner on that 10. post. Off the side wall. Now 9-10. Yes, left. Intercepted both there uh, by Ahmed. Jonathan tripping over his foot, trying to prove he yes, could get lad, to the ball. Upheld. Both referees agreeing that he could have got to the ball, therefore awarding a left ball. Yes, that's been upheld. You see a bit, bit more clearly here. There's a boast, and he just tripped on his ankle. 9 10. Therefore, a let ball as there was interference. So they'll do it all over again. Yes, lap. Again, Ahmed looking for the stroke by pushing Jonathan yes, towards the ball. The referee not falling for that. Right side, 9-10. Just to let ball. Going for the player rather than the ball. It's a great backhand volley winner by Ahmed. Gives him 11-9. And out. After replaying it twice. 11-9. Now 11-9 here in game five. Barat has had some long matches leading up to this final. We saw the semifinal win took him five games. Same deal went in the first round over Anthony Hill from Australia. 15-13 in the fifth 11. game. He had to come back twice in that match. Set it backhand by Johnson to win that Down. last rally. Brings him to within the point. An error by Ahmed. Draws him level. 11 all. Every point crucial at this stage. Power Ahmed. got to it. Great get. Good rally for Ahmed. No lap. But the crowd don't like no that, nor does the referee. Overall, yes, lap. However, the appeals referee decided that Ahmed could have got to it. Left side. I'm not sure if that was necessary, though, Dave. A lot of contact. In the middle of the court, right on the tee there. This is a big point for both players. Ah. Excellent wrist there by Jonathan. Ahmed read it very well, but hit the tin. And the coaches feel 12, the drama 11. and the pressure their players do on the court. Looking for the opening. 
It's a volley smash by Jonathan. Cross court drive, the backhand, power. It's a good tight squash by both players. Oh, that's unlucky. Came in on the forehand. Maybe changed his mind, but the unforced error hitting the ball back into himself gives Jonathan 13-11. 13-11. So the stroke awarded to power, and he is inching closer to defending his DLJ Direct Tournament of Champions title here in New York. The 1999 Tournament of Champions is brought to you by DLJ Direct. Invest online at www.dljdirect.com. By New York Sports Clubs. By Cadillac. And by Foster's Lager, Australian for beer. Now the intensity and the drama both pick up here in game five. Power two points away from a championship. He's really worked himself well back into this game. And down twice. Mohamed on the attack. Oh, great use of the wrist there by Jonathan. Brings him match ball. Here we go. There's a backhand flick down the wall. Tremendous power. And it's strength in the wrist and in the forearm. And perfect time. No out. Jonathan taking another tumble. And the outstretched no leg out. of Ahmed. No out. No out. Referee's deciding that he wouldn't have got and to the out. ball in either either case. There we see, just catching his ankle. Thank you. So handout serve Barana. goes match ball. back to Barada. It's still match ball, though, at 12-14 here in the fifth game. See how Powers already turned. He knows where the serve's going. It's gutsy play by Ahmed going to the front of the court. Down. Off the 10, short on that try, the forehand volley, so the drama continues to rise here. Jonathan, a little tentative there. 13, expect him 14, to put that away. Judging from his coach, Mike Way's face, 13, I think he does 14, too. <laughs> no ball. question. He is feeling the pressure. Again, Ahmed attacking. Nice touch there by Jonathan. Down. Uh, the tight backhand drive wins in the championship. Canada's Jonathan Power has won the Tournament of Champions crown again. He defends. It was quite a battle. Took him five games, Angus. Impressive play all the way through. He's been impressive all tournament. And today, not panicking when he got under pressure. Taking his chances when they came. And his coach, Mike Way, certainly enjoys what he sees. Let's go down to Jamie Little with a happy winner. With Jonathan Power, two-time champ now at the Tournament of Champions, how do you feel? Oh, I think this is uh, my tournament. This is um, my city. It's as close to home as I'm going to get to play a major event. So I was pretty pumped up about the whole event, and I got the W in the end. You guys went five games. They were all very close. A lot of crazy calls there but you guys battled it out and you came through the crowd was really into it yeah it was a real pig fight out there it was a lot of pushing and shoving sort of uh, a lot of animosity between the two of us and uh, made for a good match for the spectators and uh, and for me just because I won it, it would have been awful if I lost <laughs> well we look forward to seeing you back here next year back to you guys Jamie and Jonathan, thank you. This is our DLJ Direct Tournament play of the match. Such a crucial play late in the game. Yes, scores 12-11. Jonathan works, is working Ahmed here. The forehand smash, moving him backwards and forwards. Waiting for the opportunity to go forward. Great deceptive uh, forehand cross court. Tight play down the backhand wall, very difficult to do. Ahmed attacking, Jonathan counter dropping. Stoke forcing power. the error. Let's go back to our Jamie Little with our runner-up. Ackman, it was a great tournament. You guys went five very close games. How do you feel? 
feel tired now, but it was a great match. And I wish if I had win this match. And uh, I played right, I played a very good game. It was a long game. And I can win this match, but uh, what happened is that I lost in the 15-13. Uh, and I'll go back home and I'll start training again, and I'll be ready for the next tournament. Did you feel like the calls made by the referees were fair? No, it was right, but last two points, some of the calls were uh, very bad decisions. Uh, but this squash, uh, that's what uh, I, I need to go and I need to continue to play. But uh, I feel that I played uh, right and uh, just played a very good game. At one time during the 98 season, things frustrating for Jonathan Power. He was injured a lot, but finished off by winning his first ever world championship becoming the first ever player from North America to do so. Yeah. And today, he continues his run, Angus. Tremendous start to 1999 for Jonathan Power. Very happy with the victory. Even a little bit of chest thumping going on there, Dave. The charismatic champion raises the trophy once again. He has knocked off.